I remember when I was a little kid watching my daddy get dressed up because he was going to go to the horse races in Hot Springs. He used to go to Oaklawn all the time. I grew up in northwest corner of Louisiana, and that, that was the closest track to us at the time. That was before they built Louisiana Downs in Bossier City. Uh, but then as soon as I was old enough, I started going to horse races with my daddy. And it was just something that we enjoyed doing. And, and then I've gone with my younger brothers, and my baby brother and I used to go to horse races together all the time. And I just loved to go to horse races. I liked to watch the ponies run. Uh, at any time I get to go, I go. A lot of times out on the road, I've, I've had an opportunity to go to a lot of tracks around the country uh, because if I'm in town on a Saturday and they have a track and they're running, I go. How, how have you been here before at Kentucky Day? This is my first time to be here. I was telling my kids this morning driving up here. I brought two of my daughters with me today. One of them, this is her 21st birthday, so I'm bringing her to the track. And uh, Anyway, I, I said, I can't believe I've lived in Nashville for 30 years now. This is the first time that I've been to Kentucky Downs. I'm, I'm ashamed of myself. It's a great little track. It's a very unique track. I've never, I mean, this is a, it's a very unique track. And first of all, it's just turf. Uh, and then it's got that sharp turn down there. That, that first turn's a sharp turn. And I've just, I've never seen a track like this. It's very unique. It's really iconic tradition they have here of having country music, uh, icon signing guitars for trophies and what was your thoughts when that was first presented to you? I thought great you know who's paying for the guitars not me sure I'll sign them <laughs> you know so hey, I think it's kind of cool you know have somebody autograph some and they, they had some nice guitars so you know uh, for the, the owners of the horse that wins the races they get get an autographed guitar I thought it was cool. You were saying on the FanDuel TV interview that uh, talking about doing the Monarch, and that that was six months of, of uh, recording that. How does that compare with touring, as far as um, you know? Wear well, and tear? It, it was it was almost like having a real job. I mean, I had to get up, you know, Monday through Friday, get up every day, and go to the set, and learn my lines, and you know, do this whole thing, pretend to be an actor, and um, so it, it, it was. Like a kind of closest thing to a real job I've had in, I don't know, 40 years. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I loved every minute of it. It was great, and I'm excited about the show coming out. And, you know, I hope people like it. Um, I think they will. It premieres this week. What would you tell uh, your fans about it and the public about it? There's, well, music is the star of this show. Music is the star. Um, you know, there's Susan Sarandon, myself, Anna Friel, uh, Joshua Sass, Sass, Beth Ditto, uh, just a wonderful cast of people that I had an opportunity to work with. But uh, the music is the star of the show. What were you kind of thinking before you came up here? I, I, I didn't have any preconceived idea of what I was getting into. I didn't really care. I'm going to spend the day with two of my kids and have a good time at the horse races. And, and share with them what I love about horse racing. And, uh, and now they're hooked too, I think, I'm afraid. <laughs> so I, you know, I wasn't surprised by anything. It's been a great day. Everybody here has been super kind, gracious, nice to us. Uh, I expected that coming to Kentucky anyway, but it's been a great day. Um, so I know you can talk that about- was, I, That sounds like a politician. Didn't it? <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> that was a good answer. That was a good, it's like I'm running. Senator, it's like Senator, I'm running for something. Senator, you have my vote. <laughs> like I'm running for something over here. So I know you talked about your your dad uh, taking you to the races whenever you were younger. Is that something that you kind of wanted to do with your kids whenever they got about the age to appreciate? You know. Well, you know, I, I have to say I, I kind of I missed missed the boat on that one with my older two girls. Uh, 
but I'm trying to make up for it now with, with my two younger girls. And, um, you know, we're having a good time today. And I think that they're enjoying it. And I, like I said, you know, those are memories that I have. Not fond memories, that doesn't cover it. It's, it's just just cherished memories that I had of going to horse races with my dad. He's not around anymore, and I would have loved to have brought him up here with us today.